when you'll be ready. That closer to your best footy, do you think? Oh, no. Far from it. It was effective to win, but it was, it was far from our best footy. Oh, you're talking about the goal, goal kicking and taking your chances, particularly there, or was there other areas? Of the no, we gave up. We gave up uh, stoppage goals, which we th we thought were a bit. Uh, we weren't as clean as we needed to be, not as not as uh, structured as we needed to be. The perfect game is nil. They had 22 shots in uh, 40 entrances, so it's over 50 percent, which we don't. Uh, you know, there's, there's circumstances, of course, but no, no, no. We, we played well enough to win, and I think we may have won most quarters, but really, we we. I reckon we led most quarters only to then have a self-satisfaction and then the tail went up with the opposition and they bounced back. And there was one quarter, probably the third quarter, I think they may have scored, outscored us early. But you can't allow yourself the luxury of thinking sides don't get back in the games. We don't see too many sides touch up the Suns around clearances like your side did today. That was they normally pretty competitive in that area. Well, they're more than competitive. They are, I think they're number one. They're certainly in the top two or three anyway. Oh, they're the challenges. You know, when we we, we uh, pay respect to sides and find out what is created from that respect, and that is we know they're a good young side that work pretty well for one another. I'm a great admirer of, of Guy McKenna. And what he's done this year has been outstanding, really. And from... Ablett and their rucks and uh, the younger players going through, they've been able to clear the ball comprehensively against top sides. And we knew that was one of our challenges. So, so there's two or three other things that, that they do very, very well. We had to make sure that if that's, the, if that's their uh, DNA, if that's their modus operandi, then you've got to do something about it, otherwise you just get beaten. So, yeah, we were good there at times. There was a couple of times we got a bit lax, but by and large, we are pretty good. Matthew Cruiser just was enormous out there today. Was that, was that the contributing factor to the... Uh, well, he, Matthew's had... A, had uh, I think he's had a pretty good year. So... Um, and he's probably getting better as the year goes on. We're giving him some pretty good support. I didn't think Sam Rowe played particularly well, but he gave him great relief in the ruck. So we're able to then generate a little bit of um, uh, downtime on the bench or certainly at forward. So it gives Matthew a chance to recharge and, and come back in and, and be as fresh as you can through a game of football like this. And you don't want to ask a negative question after a comprehensive win, but a conversion rate like that oh, in a big game could hurt you, couldn't it? Uh, no, not could, it would. Yeah. yeah we, we, we're really off. We kicked multiple points and I don't know whether that's it, it's a contagious thing contagious things that happen on a football field are generally m more mind than anything else we see one miss or we tighten up we miss the second and all of a sudden the third one your miles will go out there and taped up because it, it, there's no fluidness about the player having the shot and that's what we've got to overcome that that uh, when we need a goal we need someone to stand up Brock Brock clean miss one last week from 15, 20 metres out. And we discussed with it why and how and how can that happen for the reasonably good kick. Today, when his time come, he, he slotted one, then he slotted one at the end. Uh, so really, he thought about it. And that's what we've got to get other players to do all the time. It's just, uh, OK, let, let's, let's read the play. Is there a crosswind? Is there, what does it mean? Uh, that, that's one thing on the football field that no one means to do, is kick a point. They, they, they may take an option in tackling or going for the hard ball or, or uh, standing off an opponent, but no one means to miss a goal. So they are genuine mistakes. So you've got to clean that up. Can you only overcome that in matches or is it something you're able to address through the week? Oh, well, I think there's no, no, nothing better than practice. They say practice makes perfect. I think perfect practice makes perfect. So you, you get the boys on the track and we work with that sort of thing and to see if we can work through it. With everyone available, Mick, is Lockie Henderson a key forward for you or a defender? He's both. Any last questions? All good, thank you. Okay, thanks, ladies.